Hello, National University Academy Extended Learning students. This is Mr. Goyette. I uh, just wanted to go over with you now that you are getting ready to, um, are preparing for the September 12th, uh, 2009 administration of the CSAT for social science. Just wanted to go over some of the things that you should bring with you and then go over our last few, since you're, some of you are finishing that last unit and have emailed me about it, I um, wanted to go over uh, some last few resources that might help you get ready for the civ civics portion, uh, government portion of the exam. So you'll need to bring your admissions ticket to the test, uh, several uh, sharpened number two pencils with erasers, no pens will be allowed, <clears throat> pencils will not be supplied at the test site, um, you'll see the test selection for information about um, other items to bring at this, uh, <clears throat> administration for specific subtests and for for the social science test it's you'll just need to bring your number two pencils proper identification as described by the identification identification policy which is uh, you must bring a test administration a current government issued identification uh, printed in English in the name in which you're registered bring your photograph and signature copies will not be accepted <coughs> So, of course, the driver's license will do, um, passport um, will cover it as well. Um, okay, now over to those resources really quickly. Um, maybe I, I should comment, though, that you will have access to the, the website for the rest of this week. And then uh, for the week just before the test, you won't be able to access the site. So if there's any resources you wanted to look back over, please um, email me and I can get um, the, the, the lecture or PowerPoint into your hands so you can do additional review or um, email me for uh, other resources that you felt uh, you, you still needed or didn't see in the course. A couple things I've been reading recently or listening to that were helpful. I read, I read these books but then I picked them up on tape to kind of do additional review. Um, Stephen Breyer's Active Liberty um, this is a good review for you for those students who may need to brush up in history. It's it's a little in depth because he is talking about this whole concept of having a more a lenient approach to the the, the judicial position and the Supreme Court and um, <clears throat> in terms of interpreting the law. And uh, but he does break down the different arguments uh, with respect to um, the judicial review. Um, so it's a, it's well worth a listen or a read. It's a short read as well. Um, another thing you can either pick up on CD or um, pick up a copy of this used on Amazon if you want to save a buck or two uh, in book form. It's called The Scent of Money by Niall, uh, Niall Ferguson. Uh, what I liked about it was it does go over uh, the history of um, money going all the way back to Mesopotamia and Canaan and goes all the way through to um, our current situation with uh, the recession in the United States. Um, the, of course, they finished the book in 2007, so it doesn't have some of the details of 2008 in there. But uh, it's, a, it's a very good economic history of, of economics, history of money. And uh, it, it, along the way, you learn a lot of, of uh, ancillary history, too, that he, that he uses to back up his position and illustrate his points. So you will find that while you are focusing on your, uh, the economic history portion of it, you're also going to pick up a lot of world history, American history and British history as you go along. So again, I'll recommend that. Um, you can pick up pick these up used at either on Amazon.com, Foley, or um, pick it up at uh, Barnes and Noble. Um, please call, email with your questions or concerns. Uh, I want to make sure that I'm available to you uh, in the in the week uh, before the test, so I can help you get the answers you need to the questions you have. Um, and my contact information is on the website. Talk to you soon. Bye.